हेलो एवरीवन होप यू आर लर्डिंग वेल सो इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस द थर्ड प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लीड को बाई वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट वन जीरो फोर इट्स अ मीडियम लेवल प्रॉब्लम आई वुड से बेटर देन दी अदर थर्ड लेवल प्रॉब्लम दैट यू गेट इंटरेस्टिंग वन सो द प्रॉब्लम इज नेम इज मैक्सिमम और सो यू आर गिवन अ जीरो इंडेक्स इन टीजर एर एनम्स ऑफ लेंथ एन एंड एन इन टीजर के इन वन ऑपरेशन यू कैन चूज एन एलिमेंट एंड मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू ओके Return the maximum possible value of nums of zero, nums of one. So basically, you are finding the OR of all the elements that can be obtained after applying the operation on nums at most k times. Okay. Note that a or b denotes the bitwise OR between two integers. So simple. It says that you are given an array. Okay, and you have to maximize the uh, OR of all the values of the array. Now to maximize that, you can do some operations. What are those operations? You can multiply any number. ओके एनी नंबर और एनी नंबर्स हाँ बेसिकली बाई टू के टाइम्स ओके सो यू हैव के के ऑपरेशन इन वन ऑपरेशन यू कैन पिक एनी नंबर ऑफ द एर एंड मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू दैट इज वॉट इट सेज ओके लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेयर यू हैव ट्वेल्व एंड नाइन सो ट्वेल्व इज दिस नाइन इज दिस ओके नाउ वॉट इट इज सेंग इफ यू इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई सो वॉट इज द करेंट और इट इज वन जीरो वन वन राइट सो दैट इज थर्टीन कैन यू मैक्सिमाइज इट सो वॉट इफ यू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू सो दिस बिकम्स वन वन जीरो 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 एंड दिस रिमेन्स एज वन जीरो जीरो वन सो दिस इज वन वन जीरो जीरो वन राइट सो दिस इज सिक्सटीन प्लस एट ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव वॉट इज द अदर पॉसिबिलिटी रिमेंबर यू कैन परफॉर्म ओनली वन ऑपरेशन द अदर पॉसिबिलिटी इज यू मेक ट्वेल्व एज इट इज हाउ वेर यू मल्टीप्लाई नाइन सो वट यू गेट यू गेट वन जीरो जीरो वन जीरो ओके जीरो वन 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 नाउ वट्स द आंसर सिक्सटीन प्लस एट ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस फोर ट्वेंटी एट प्लस टू थर्टी थर्टी इज योर आंसर ऑब्वियसली आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड थर्टी थर्टी इज द मैक्सिम आंसर सो हेयर वट वी डिड वी 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 वर जस्ट अलाउड टू परफॉर्म वन ऑपरेशन दैट मीन्स मल्टीप्लाई एनी नंबर बाई टू सो वट वी डिड वी मल्टीप्लाई नाइन बाई टू एंड वी गॉट आर आंसर ओके दिस इज वॉट वी डिड नाउ हेयर वट वील डू वी हैव एट वन एंड टू सो इट सेज दैट इफ uh if you if you multiply this two times right what do you get you get 32 so 32 is 1 0 0 0 0 0 like this one is this two is this find the or you get 35 okay so 35 is your answer that's the problem statement the number of elements you can have is 10 to the power 5 each element can be 10 to the power 9 and k is 15 now just just see a point to note here is number is 10 to the power 9 If you keep on multiplying it by uh, left shifting it by fifteen times, so roughly that is two raised to fifteen. So multiply ten raised to the nine with two raised to fifteen. This goes out of the integer range, so you have to take long here, right? That's the first thing. Now the second thing, which number to pick? Okay, or should we pick only one number? Should we pick multiple numbers? That's the trick here. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what we have to do, and the solution will become a cakewalk. Trust me. Okay. So suppose you have some numbers. I'll talk about this. Like so, for example, one zero 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 one something like this. Okay. Now I can multiply. I can do k operations. Okay. Now just just consider one thing. Out of these two numbers, this number. Okay. This number has the uh, has has one at the most significant bit. Right. I mean, this number is larger than this number. Okay. no whichever number you pick whichever number you pick first thing is which number to pick okay and the second thing is uh, do we pick multiple numbers to perform this operation or only a single number right so now just see one thing if i start multiplying this number by 2 so what happens i keep on adding zeros on the right hand side and ultimately the weightage of this number is increasing because it, it is moving on the left hand side right? initially if the weightage is 2 raised to x it becomes 2 raised to x plus 1 after one operation 2 raised to x plus 2 after two operations and so on right so in short as soon as i have i have picked a number right i can keep on multiplying the same number rather multiply uh, uh, rather perform all the k operation on this on the same number okay because suppose you have picked up one number you have picked up one number you are increasing the power now the only possibility is if if you perform out of k operations you perform x operations on one number and k minus x operations on the other number so what happens just see here you were multiplying it this guy was moving on the left hand side okay this guy was moving on the left hand side the weightage of every number every one bit was increasing by 2 right the weightage was increasing now just see this already is a great uh, this already is a higher magnitude number 
again multiplying with by 2 will give me a larger number as compared to i picking up any other number any other number and multiplying by 2 right that is simple right because suppose i have one here if i multiply one moves on the left hand side this guy becomes zero okay now suppose there is already a one here right so this one is not doing any benefit so either i move this one on left side or this one on left side so why not continuing continue moving this this one only right so i mean to say you pick just one number and keep on multiplying it by two right perform all the operations here only because either this one will move to a position where you have, where you have zero or it will move to a position where you have one if it moves to a position where you have zero yes you have done your task if it moves to a position where you have already one so you have two options either you can pick any number which has a one and keep on multiplying by two now we have already picked up a number which is giving us maximum benefit so in short what i want to say pick up every number once right pick up every number suppose you have n numbers right so perform an operation on this number right out of these n numbers pick every number and perform an operation on this number that means multiply it by 2 raised to k and whichever number is giving you the highest or that is your answer okay that's the trick now comes the question how do i find the or okay how do i find the or so just see this suppose this is your array okay i am standing here okay i'm standing at the ith position what i have to do i have to find or of these elements these elements and perform operation on this element and take the or of whatever is the resultant with the updated value of this element right updated value of this element so what i can do to find the or i can take a prefix and a suffix array prefix array will be that if i am standing at this position this guy holds okay if i am standing at the ith position this guy holds the prefix or of all the elements from 0 to i minus 1 similarly what suffix will hold suffix will hold the prefix or of all the elements from i plus 1th element to i minus 1th element getting it so now what you will do you will move to the ith position in big o of 1 what i can do i can do prefix of i or suffix of i or the updated number what is this updated number it is one left shift k into the current number simple this is what i have to do and just see this is what i have done here this is the <coughs> sorry this is the number of elements i have uh, here what i have done i have converted all the elements into long just for simplicity that's it okay uh, again these are the prefix and suffix arrays you can take integer as well and do proper typecasting just for simplicity and easiness of easiness of code i have taken it long you can take it integer as well right now just see what i have done i've calculated the prefix array okay now remember prefix of i is zero in my case because if you are standing at 0th index you don't have any left element so the prefix or will be zero if you are standing at the ith element basically the ith element will hold the prefix or of all the elements from 0 to i minus 1 similarly if you are standing at the ith index it will the suffix of i will hold the or of i plus 1th to n minus 1th element right so based on this i have calculated prefix and suffix simple now the current answer is zero i'll keep on updating my answer what is my current answer current is prefix of i or suffix of i or apply this operation the current number is nums and uh, do 2 raised to k right just see whichever is giving you the maximum value uh, that is your answer and finally return your answer so the trick here is basically to find out there are two things to find out the first thing is that do i need to perform an operation so uh, out of k operations do i need to perform some operations on one number and some on other or i can perform all the operations on the same number so we have seen we can perform all the operations on the same number right because ultimately a particular one a, a one bit will be moving to a position where you already have a one or where you have a zero so if you have if you are moving at a position where you have zero yes you have contributed if you are moving at a position which is one so what you will do you can either now keep on left shifting it or left, left shifting it so it won't make any difference so why not keep on shifting this as well this only right so that it makes things simple and the second thing is how you find the or so we can take use a prefix and a suffix or array to basically find the or right instead of traversing it every time uh, so yeah that's it for this problem hope you learn something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well in case of any queries mention that in the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye, -bye.